All right, so in this video, what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about this big, nasty mess that Jink has created for himself. All right, so in this video, what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about this big mess that Jink has created. And this is 1,000% Jink's fault. And I don't even know how Kyle did two videos trying to make it Jimmy's fault at all. And so what that led me to believe that we are, I already know that Jink is corrupt and that he's getting money for trying to silence the movement and trying to silence Jimmy. So when Kyle did his video running cover for Jink, it lets me know that Jink, that Kyle is a careerist at TYT and he's getting some of that money as well. Cause it was, because none of it made sense. None of it, none of it, he, Kyle said that he was, um, he agreed with Jink. 10 or 15 percent Kyle how do you agree 10 to 15 percent with somebody who's a hundred percent wrong you can't I wouldn't agree one percent with somebody who's a hundred percent wrong so what 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 is the 10 or 15 percent that you agree with um uh kneecapping um what, what is it you, uh, you agree with kneecapping forced to vote uh you you agree with uh blackmailing you agree with the smear attempts on award-winning journalists uh, you, 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 you agree with Jink not, uh, asking Nancy Pelosi to get something for the vote from, from the progressives instead of just voting for her and getting nothing. What, what, what is the 10 or 15% that you agree with, Kyle? You agree with, um, you agree with, with them doing, um, interviews with war criminals like Madeleine Albright? What, I'm trying to understand. What is the 10 or 15% that you agree with? You agree, you agree with the Russia great, with Russia gate? Is that what you agree with Kyle? Do, do, Kyle, do, do you, what, is, what is it? Do you agree with them lying about Syria? I'm, I'm trying to figure out the 10 or 15%. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm really, would you, you agree with the smear campaigns against Aaron? Against Aaron Monte? You, what do you agree with? You agree with the, uh, Julian Assange smears? The Jimmy smears? What do you agree with? Oh, you agree with taking that corporate cash. That's what you agree with. It's got to be corporate cash because anything else you can get on your own. You can make the money off of your YouTube channel on your own. Just put just put ads on it. Just put ads on your video. You can, you can make money off the ads yourself. You don't need TYT to do that. So it's got to be something else that you're getting compensated for. And you got to look at Jink and Kyle. They're the, they're the ones behind the Justice Democrats, AOC, the squad. All of these fake progressives that went into Congress and did nothing. And it makes me wonder, hmm, Kyle and Jink have done nothing. Kyle's been, you know, Kyle's been doing this for years and he's done nothing. Look, I want to show y'all something. Kyle, Kyle has been, look at this. Kyle's been talking about Medicare for All. If you go to this channel, you put the search bar, go to Medicare for All. Two years, two years, four months, one year, 11 months, seven months, one year, two years. Look at all these years. He's been talking about this for years. There's videos in here with him talking about it three years, four years, look, five years. Look at this. Six years. And all of these videos. You can go through all these videos. None but video after video after video about Medicare for all. Medi then you come over here, you look at Jink. Wait, I didn't want to do forced to vote. Because Jink doesn't have to. Look, this is the only video that Jink has for forced to vote. But let's go for Medicare. For all. Now look at all of these videos. Look. Look at all these videos. Two years. Two years. Two years. Three years. Now these guys have been talking about this. So why have they been talking about this all this time? And then it took Jimmy. Who's not even. They, these guys. These, this is what these guys do for a living. Politics. Kyle. And, and, and Jake. So. Why is it, why is it they've been talking about this for all of these years? And then you come over here and now Kyle was talking about this six years ago, right? Now you come over here and J Jinx talking about there is nothing wrong with forced to vote. What's wrong is the timing. Kyle's been talking about it for six years. What, what do you mean what's wrong with the timing? What, what, what do you mean? The timing is wrong. He's been talking about it for six years. You've been talking about it three and four years. What, what are you talking about, Jinx? What are you doing? Because something, something's not adding up. You, 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 you were kneecapping this for a reason. Because what they, what they really want to do is they just want to keep talking about it. And Jimmy forced all of their hands and he showed that they all are corrupt. I want to show you all this. All right. There's 10 times, uh, 10 more times at the right time. 
the right time is not an excuse in, to wait in this case. The right time was before this vote, before voting for Nancy, I guess. I like being aggressive, but you have to do it strategically. Hmm, strategically. Okay, we're going to get to that in a second. Now, this is this is uh, Jimmy saying, yes, we need to keep waiting. You're such a good boy, Democrat. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's basically what he's doing. Then we come over here. He says, this next one, force to vote. People who... Uh, who absolutely refuse to have any strategy. Jink, you've been talking about it for four years. You should have a strategy. You should have a strategy. Kyle's been, why, why didn't Kyle have a strategy? Kyle, Kyle didn't have a strategy either. Because they're both careerists. They both grift off of their viewers and their subscribers. And they just get money from them. They, they have no plan. Matter of fact, no, they, no, they did have a plan. They gave us AOC, the Justice Democrats, and, and a squad. Who, who they put together to do nothing. That, that was the whole point of them to go in there and, and, and gaslight progressives to make them think that they're going to go in there and do nothing. They did nothing. And Kyle knows that. And Kyle does videos talking about if they just use their power, they, Kyle, you're full of it. Kyle keeps saying that they use their power, they use their leverage. Then Kyle showed a video where Cori Bush said, hey, we're not going to vote together. So basically, what she said is, hey, we, we're not going to use our power. We're not going to vote collectively. That was a dumb, but just, that was a justice Democrat. She said that. That they're not going to vote together. And Kyle keeps saying, well, they need to vote together. Kyle, she said they're not. And he keeps saying it. He keeps saying it. Um, and now he's saying, people who absolutely refuse to have any strategy. All right. So what's your strategy? What's, your, what's Kyle's strategy? Y'all are the masterminds of all of this. Who is the progressives going to run against, against Pelosi and the caucus? All right. Now let's get some things straight. They started the Justice Democrats. The Justice Democrats was him and Kyle. I mean, Jink and Kyle formed the Justice Democrats to take out old Democrats, primary them, and get them out of the way so, so that they can push a progressive agenda. Now he's talking about in 2020. Now y'all started the Justice Democrats in 2017. AOC and all of these people, they got put in there in 2018. And now you're talking about, all right, who is the progressive? Who's going to run against Pelosi? What? You mean to tell me in 2020, y'all started this 2017, y'all, y'all don't have any idea. And it's like, is, is, I don't know. At that time, I, I mean, I don't know. I think they have like 10 of them in there. It's like 10. You couldn't pick one. You know, if you don't have one, what is the next step? See, now, now this, now this is very telling because what he's doing is he's saying, Hey, there's nobody to run against Pelosi. So don't even challenge her. Don't, don't challenge her. Just leave it off. And, there's, I'm going to show y'all in another video why he's doing this because it's very, it's very sickening what, what Jink is doing. And both of the things that he's covering for, it's got a lot to do with a lot of the same people. The reason that he's not for Medicare for all is because he doesn't want to disrupt his donors. And the reason that he doesn't want the progressives to run against Nancy is the same reason. I'm, and I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to show y'all receipts. I'm not going to just show you. I'm just saying this. I'm going to show y'all the connection to all of this because Jink, like I said, the, the Justice Democrats, they have one job and that's to gaslight us. Now, they did not, the Justice Democrats, they didn't send anybody to take on Nancy, but you know who they did take on? They took on somebody who opposed Nancy, Joe Crowley. Ask Joe Crowley what happened to him. Joe Crowley and Marsha Fudge. Marsha Fudge got lucky. Marsha Fudge wanted to primary Nancy. You know what Nancy did to get rid of her? She gave her a committee seat. Marsha was happy with that. Now, for Marsha being loyal, they gave Marsha. Now, Marsha has been promoted to a, to a seat up there with Joe Biden. Now, Nina, now Nina, uh, Nina Turner and this other, well, I can't think of the other lady name, but they're running for Marsha's seat right now in Ohio. What happened to Joe Crowley? Joe, Joe Crowley got the big idea that he was going to try to primary. He really wanted to primary Nancy. You know what they did? The Justice Democrats uh, and Jink. They, they put a hit on him. That's what they did. They took him out. AOC did the biggest hit ever. She took out a justice. She took out a corporate long-standing Democrat that wanted to primary Nancy Pelosi. And I'm going to show you. I, I, and I, have, I have all the receipts for that. I'll show you all all of that too. But he was thinking about it in 2016. He didn't do it. He did it in 2018. And it, this, guy been in, this guy has been in Congress as a corporate Democrat since 1999. They took him out in 2018 with somebody who was completely unknown. Well, people, I mean, who, who knew AOC when she was originally? People, everybody knew after she won. 
And the Democrats, not the Democrats, they didn't give her any power within the party, but they gave her celebrity. She's, I mean, they had her on every late night news channel. That's what they gave her, celebrity. They didn't give her any position, but they gave her celebrity for taking out Joe Crowley. The Justice Democrats were formed to take out the, the, the founders. That's what they said. Their, the mission is to take out Democrats who get, you know, corporate Democrats that ain't in the way. And Joe Crowley wanted to take out Nancy Pelosi, which was, if he wouldn't have did that, he wouldn't have got primary. We, we probably wouldn't even have AOC if, um, yeah, we probably wouldn't even have AOC if Joe Crowley wouldn't have tried to go against Nancy Pelosi because they wouldn't have primaried him. The Democrats wouldn't have ran a primary candidate against him. But when he wanted, when he really wanted to, this guy, that hit the, that hit the, the, the papers and all of that in April. That he was thinking about prime, he really wanted to primary him by June. He was primaried and gone. The same, I mean, two months later, he was gone. He'd been in there 18 years. Now he's gone as soon as he, soon as he's talking about primary in April. By June, he's gone. They probably, they, what, somebody, nobody even knew. And, and, so, and why, why you think, why you think AOC calls her Mama Bear? Because she know, AOC is part, she, you know, that's Mama Bear Pelosi. AOC was, has been giving money to the corporate Democrats. She is an establishment hack. She's a plant. So, if Jinx behind it, you know she's corrupt. Jinx behind it. Kyle's behind it. Now, look, like, if you, like I said, if you look at Kyle's channel, Kyle's been talking about Medicare for America. But look, see when he came for forced to vote? Let me show you this. Look, two, 2015. But see when he came for forced to vote? Look at this. When Jimmy put it on the floor? Look, this is two months ago. Forced to vote was six or seven months ago. See this video? And this this is somebody else's channel. Look, this is the Vanguard. This ain't even, he's not even talking about forced to vote as far as he he's um he's promote he's he's endorsing it. Now look at this. Look, forced to vote. This is six seven months ago. And look what he's talking about the football player. I remember this. Justin Jackson. He's talking about AOC. That's what he's talking about. They're not even talking about him endorsing it. Now, maybe he endorsed it on Twitter. Maybe he endorsed it to Jimmy in private. But he's got all of these videos. Look, look, all the way from here. Look, nonstop. But when it came to force the vote, he's part of the Young Turks Network. So he didn't endorse it. But the rest of them, they openly opposed it. Sam Cedar, Benjamin Dixon, uh, Jink. Why? Why has has Kyle been pushing this for six years? Why wouldn't you have Jimmy on your show saying, "Hell yeah, Jimmy, I, I support Force the Board. I've been talking about this since 2015." Of course, come on my show, talk about it. Now you know it's strange. Crystal had Jimmy on the on the on the rising when when Jimmy was pushing it, but Kyle didn't have her. Kyle didn't have him on here, and he's been pushing it because Kyle's a fraud. Kyle's part of the Young Turks Network. So he talks about he talked about Medicare for all, but it was time to put a when it was time for him to endorse it. He didn't. I'm showing you. Just go over to his channel, type in Medicare for all, keep scrolling. You're gonna see a million videos. Go to his channel, go to the search bar, put in "force to vote." Two videos, and one is on somebody else's channel, and this one is talking about AOC and Justin and Justin um Justin Jackson, a football player. Nowhere, look, nowhere in here, nowhere in here is there a video saying yes. I support forced to vote. Kyle is a fraud. He talks it, he talks it, he talks it. He's a fraud. Then he gets then he then he gets animated talking about oh, well the squad, they should do the Corey Corey Bush already said they're not voting together as a block. she said Pamela Jamal, whatever her name is. She said that she's already said that when we vote, we vote individually. So what they're saying is we're not going to we're not we're we're never going to vote as a block. And Kyle keeps going on his show, gaslighting people saying, Well the progressives they just voted as a block. And he showed the video of her saying, we're not voting as a block. And then he said, there you have it. And then a month later, he goes on Crystal, Kyle and friend, uh, Crystal and, uh, and, and Sagan and says, you know, the reason that they're failing is because, you know, they won't vote as a block. Kyle, you just showed a video a month ago, two months ago, saying that they're not. So, so basically, and then, and then he goes against, then there's a guy who's saying that he want to do a third party. Kyle did a two, Kyle did a big long video telling this guy why he's going to fail as a third party. Kyle knows you cannot reform the Democratic Party. They are too corrupt. He's been doing this over ten years, and he knows that. 
But yet he want to keep trying to keep people with this progressive agenda that he knows is not going anywhere within a Democratic Party. You have 10 members in, in 10 progressive members from the squad. None of them are ever going to do anything. And he knows that. So what that tells me is Kyle is a paid shield to run cover for the progressive agenda. And whatever money that Jink is getting, Kyle is getting some of that money too. All right. And when we come over here, you know, people who absolutely refuse to have any strategy. First of all, they have no strategy. Who is the progressive? Who is going? All right. We did all of that. Right. All right. Um, what else did I go with? Um, wait, there was something else that I wanted to show. I can't remember which one it was. No, that's the other one. That's for another video. Uh, oh, look. Now, this, this guy is saying, actually trying to, he said, is, is Jink actually trying to kneecap the moment? Or is he just a useful idiot to the establishment? People are starting to, people, people are starting to know this way back in December. So Jink has been on a downward spiral. And then he says, he makes you wonder why he keeps going to Jimmy, but he's dead selling on Kyle. Hmm. Kyle's been talking about forced, Kyle's been talking about Medicare all of this time, but yet Kyle didn't, why is he so quiet? Look, why is Kyle so quiet? Uh, may, like I said, may, maybe he endorsed it to Jimmy privately. Maybe he endorsed it on Twitter, but he didn't endorse it on his channel to his million fans. And here's the proof. Here's the proof right here. First of all, you don't see it anywhere. Except for on somebody else's channel two months ago. Two months ago, it was already four months too late. And this, he, in this, this whole video, he's got 30, he's got a 30, almost a 30 minute video. He doesn't endorse it one time. And he's been talking about it for six years, talking about it. All of these people are frauds. And then, and that was the whole reason why Kyle did those two videos attacking Jimmy, talking about Anna's skirt. Because, because he didn't want, he didn't, because this, this, he's talking about, I want to talk about the policy. But he talked the whole time he kept saying, I want to talk about policy. He never, he, this is the policy. Look, let me show you. Look, right here. Now, Kyle's going to tell you. Now, we're going to come back to this. Now, he's saying, you know, um, look, now he's saying you have no plan. You have no strategy. Look, you have no strategy. You have no plan. Jimmy says right here, look, another lie. We This is our strategy. We are pressuring Pelosi to bring a floor vote. We want to bring the floor vote so we can see who is with us and who against us. Because if you vote against Medicare for All in the middle of a pandemic that's killing millions of people, you're exposing that you're against the whole progressive movement. And that's this. This what happened to Jim. He got exposed that he was against it. And he had why? Why would you be against it? Now look. Now Jimmy says we are pressuring Pelosi. Now listen to what Kyle says. This is out of Kyle. Kyle's going to tell you what this is all about in less than 15 seconds. Listen. So Jimmy Dore has been advocating for the idea of the left withholding their vote from Pelosi for speaker unless she commits to a floor vote on Medicare for all. This is no. Did you hear that? In, look, twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. That's what he said. Look, let's let's listen again. So Jimmy Dore has been advocating for the idea of the left withholding their vote from Pelosi for speaker unless she commits to a floor vote. On Medicare for all. This now here's Jinx saying, "You have no strategy. You have no plan. You just heard Kyle say. Kyle just said what he said. Look, we're pressing Pelosi. Pelosi, if you want our vote, give us something. We want Medicare for all. We we look. Even if we don't get it, put it on the floor. All right. Even even if we don't get it, put it on the floor. Let's see who goes against it. Whoever goes against it, we know that you are the enemy." And this is what happened. Jimmy forced Jinx's hand, and, Jim, and, and Jinx showed that he was the enemy. And if you go to if you go to Jimmy's channel, if you go to Jimmy's channel. Jimmy has his channel for years. Jimmy had never attacked. He had never attacked Jinx until six, seven months ago. Like I said, if you come over here, you look at this video, December fourteenth. Now, granted, Jimmy had started pushing for the vote. I think sometime in November. I think maybe late November. But it didn't, it didn't get, it didn't get bad until Jinx started doing stuff like this. You have no strategy. You have no, that's when it started getting bad. That's when Jimmy was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're not behind this in the middle of a pandemic? And now, and now, now Jinx has made this into this, um, 
you know, he's brought an Aaron Mate into this. None of these people have anything to do with this. He's brought Glenn Greenwald. Glenn, Glenn Greenwald has nothing to do with this. He's brought Anna into this. Anna's got nothing to do with this. That blackmail. That's, Anna, Anna ain't that blackmail. That was something that Jink cooked up to, to run cover for his corruption. That's what that is. He's trying to. Now, and then, and then Kyle. Kyle, who just told you right here. We'll do it again. Kyle just told you. So Jimmy Dore has been advocating for the idea of the left withholding their vote from Pelosi for speaker unless she commits to a floor vote on Medicare for all. Now, and then Kyle comes and he does two videos talking about, well, this is be this is because this is because, um, you know, Jimmy slut, slut chain, sh Jimmy slut shamed Anna. And he just told you what it's about with look within 12 seconds. He told you what all this is about. He's running cover for Jink. He's running cover for Jink not being able to give any reason why he was kneecapped and forced to vote. Why he didn't put any pressure on Nancy Pelosi. That's what this is about. And and Kyle said and Kyle Kyle's such a liar. I told I showed y'all that Kyle was talking when well, he was talking for all of these all of these videos about forced to vote. I mean made a careful on and then I showed y'all. He didn't even try. He didn't even push he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He he, he talked about other people who he, he talked about this football player who was talking about it. And then he then he talked to this sellout Norm Chomsky who talked about oh, you know, they shouldn't they shouldn't have forced to vote. He's who's, who's paying? Who's paying? Somebody's paying Norm because Norm, I think at one time he might have been a di different person, but he once he started with vote blue no matter who and don't force the vote. And come on, man, who's paying you, Norm? Who's paying you? Because when they start doing stuff like that, you start saying somebody's paying these people, somebody's paying them. And um, and and like I said, with, with Kyle, Kyle said, I didn't want to bring him on my show because I would have to ask him the tough questions. He said the tough questions I would have had to ask him was, when with Anna, did you mean to say what you said? Uh, some 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 other foolishness. Now, Kyle, you're a man. You Kyle, you're supposed to be a man. But what he exposed himself to be was a beta male. Because the tough question wouldn't have been anything about Anna. The tough question would have been, hey 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 Jimmy, we're all supposed to be progressives. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that Jink getting that money had him had anything to do with him not wanting to vote to push Medicare for all? That would have been a tough question. It wouldn't have been about Anna. It would have been about Jink. Do you think, because he, you're a man. You're supposed to be a man. You ask him about what the issue is with this man. Not with Jink. Not, not with Anna. With her blackmail attempt. Because that's, that's nonsense. That's foolishness. You know, and, and, and Kyle played right. Kyle is a beta male because that was a tough question. Do you think that that money really corrupt? And, and obviously Kyle didn't think so because he said that in his, one of his videos, he said that no, nah, the money, Jink took the money and he said, and, and it didn't change. It didn't change Jink's, uh, his, you know, it didn't change his, um, his, 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 his um, outlook or whatever, uh, his, uh, his views or whatever, how he ran his business. That would have been the question to ask. Do you think that that was the reason why? No, he he brought he made it about Anna, beta male cuck, running cover for Jink. That's why he didn't bring Jimmy on because he knew Jimmy was gonna expose that this is what this is about. This is about forced to vote. That's why he didn't bring Jimmy on. He didn't want Jimmy to come out there and tell the truth. He didn't, so so what he did was he goes to Jimmy and then he made up some he he did two videos for the lies. That's what he did. Because Jimmy would have went on there and said, "Hey man, look, this is you know you know this is about Kyle. You know this has got nothing to do with Anna. This is about this is about Jink taking twenty million dollars and kneecapping forced to vote. This is about Jimmy. This this is about Jink not putting any pressure on Nancy Pelosi. And that was that was the issue. Kyle didn't want Jimmy to come on there and say that. He didn't want he didn't want Kyle he didn't want Jimmy to come on there and tell the truth. So he goes to them." He goes to him, and I'm pretty sure he ran that past Jink. He's like, Jink, hey, you know, I'm gonna have Jimmy on that. And Jimmy was like, and Jink was like, hell no, you can't have Jimmy on that. You know, Jimmy's gonna expose you. He's like, and that's why, that's why he's like, Jimmy has one speed nuclear. Well, yeah, Jimmy was gonna tell the truth. Jimmy was gonna come on there and say, all oh, y'all a bunch of goddamn frauds. And Kyle, you a guy. No, no, he, he wouldn't say Kyle was a fraud. 
on a, on that in that because Kyle, if Kyle would have invited him on the show like he was supposed to, it wouldn't have got to that point. But Kyle did, and then you know what, what Kyle did was Kyle said, "Fuck you," you know. I'm, he invited him on the show, then he ghosted him. He ghosted him, and then he does. Then he doesn't even call him. Doesn't tell him anything. So he's saying, "Fuck you." I go on a job. I don't show up. No call, no show. They they fire me. I've been I've been fired for jobs. Terminated. No call, no show. They don't even want to hear it. Unless, unless you bring a, a a medical slip saying your brain was leaking out the side of your head. If you don't have that, you're terminated. Don't even come back. So what he did was a no call, no show. You know, blatant disrespect. Then he brings. Then then he tell. Then he then he, then when Jimmy gets in touch with him two and a half hours later. He said, "Hey, I was busy. I was doing something else." And you see, you see me, and and the whole the whole thing is Kyle. Kyle's such a liar. Kyle says, you know, um, this is this, everything that I everything that I focus about is policy. But then the first thing he says is the question I would have asked would have been about Anna. Well, that's not policy. Policy would have been forced to vote, Medicare for all. That would have been the policy. But he didn't endorse it on his channel, so of course he didn't bring the real issue up. And he didn't want to throw Jink under the bus since Jink vehemently opposed it. And if you go to if you go to Kyle's channel for the last eight, seven, eight, nine months, there is nothing out of look, out of all of these videos, you won't find any video from his latest video for seven, eight, nine months. You won't find anything about forced to vote. I mean you won't find anything about Medicare for all because he can't talk about it. What's he gonna say? Was he gonna say we had the opportunity to do it? I didn't endorse it and Jink completely opposed it and had everybody within the network oppose it. What's he gonna say? So he doesn't even talk about it. Go go look, let me show you something. Alright, we on we on Kyle's channel. Let me show you something. Videos. Look, his latest video is some bullshit about Mitch McConnell. Who cares? You can come from there, you can go through all the way through here. And just go all the way back, three weeks, four weeks. You can go all the way back. There is not a video about meta. There's not a there's not a Medicare for all video because because he's been that's already been exposed that you're a fraud. You are a fraud. Here it is. Forced to vote. Nothing. Nothing. You talking about other people? Should have had Jimmy on your show. Crystal had him on Rising, and then Crystal did a follow up. Talking about Jimmy forced to vote. So guys, I'm gonna end this video because it's way longer than what I expected and what I wanted. But there's a lot more to this series that's coming because I, I I didn't even cover a lot of the things that I wanted to cover. And um so yeah, uh just get ready for the series because it's it's gonna be very thorough. 